a little while ago I showed you how to draw the collared lizard. Now it's time to do something with that drawing. I've done a colour graph video before, but this one's showing you how to do lines. It's more of a linear, almost like an ink drawing style, and this is just another technique with colour graph. So this is like wood cut in reverse because all the bits that I want to be black are actually cutting away. So I cut both sides of the line, again a little bit like wood cut. But this time I am going to peel that line away. What you're left with is a sort of a furriness of in there, and that clicks and holds onto ink, and it's going to give me a nice thick bold line there. The thick white lines are going to be the thick black lines. And now I'm adding some glue. I found the sticks, sharpened sticks, one of the best things to add glue with. And so push the glue around. shellac. I'm going to give quite a few layers of shellac. So it resists the ink really well. I'm going to print up a normal proof. First I'm going to soak paper in the water. This is what we normally do in an intaglio print. Give that a good soak for about five minutes and then I'm going to blot it out on blotting paper. This is blotting paper. You can use clean towels or even paper towels. I don't like blotting paper, it's reusable. You get quite a few uses out of it before you have to throw the blotting paper away. It's a happy little lizard. Okay, time to ink this guy up. I like to ink up with a paintbrush because it's just a way of getting into all the little grooves. Now I've rubbed all the ink in all the little grooves. I like to take it off with bits of old phone book. And polishing the surface. It's intaglio inking, so the ink should stay in the grooves and the surface should be the lighter colour, so I'm wiping away what should be lighter. If you want a bit light, you have to really rub it lightly. It's like you're polishing it. Magic time. See if it's a success or a failure. Ooh, it's not too bad. Here we go. It's a happy little lizard. I have another little experiment to do. I'm going to try and print this not just intaglio but relief as well. So I'm going to use black for the intaglio print and just roll over a colour and see how that looks. Now I'm running a colour over this with a soft roller. It's quite firm already. Bit. Put a little bit of newspaper on top, get a hard roller, and I'm rubbing over it gently with a hard roller. Very 
I'm going to ink up another hot roller. This is called viscosity printing. It's a way of getting multicolors onto the one plate and the one pass through. That is viscosity printmaking. Pretty cool. There's a couple of little white bits in there that could have been better, but it might improve with other prints. I'm quite happy how the technique of this turned out. It's a very interesting technique. I'm also probably going to do a bit of hand colouring of this very linear sort of design, and it's really taking colour graph into different areas for me anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more printmaking videos with your old Uncle Bill. See you later.